I loathe YouTube and YouTube videos, but there's no other way for me to show this, so I'm not going to dick around with a website. I'm just going to throw it on YouTube and uh, see who else wants to watch this. So I just completed removing the outer skin of, oh, there's my other the BD that I own. As you can see, this is nowhere near factory, and it's not a known modification. I mean, the spar is original, but I don't, I don't know if these were original panel ribs that were cut down or what. Um, I believe the original panels were, you had like eight or twelve per wing. I got one, two, three, four, five, I got six showing now. So there's probably six or probably another six under there. So maybe 10 or 12 on this wing. Again, I have no idea the history of this, but I mean, for some reason they went through and thought it would be a good idea to cut lightning holes. I don't, I don't know. But all this is coming off because it was just not up to snuff. Um, you can see there's the on the outer skin, I mean, there's a lot of rash on it, but also some modifications. They made some access panels, I guess, to do work in the fuel cell. I don't know. Um, but, I mean, it's not up to snuff. You can see here, these uh, rivet edge distances are just wrong. I mean, this is not, a, not an airworthy type of repair or construction. Um, I mean, these are not structural rivets. They use the AVEX uh, pull rivets, the blind rivets, which are not structural. I guess they were relying on the Pro Seal. But as you can see, I mean, I did have to heat this up to get the Pro Seal off, but I mean, I don't know. I, didn't, I don't know if the heat just makes Pro Seal useless or what, but. I mean, here this is this is where I, have, I did some prying, and then also this outer rib here was actually I had to I put the heat gun on it too long and I actually started to char the uh, resin. I never actually damaged the fibers, but I did was able to burn off the resin, and that allowed me to loosen everything up. Um, this is the again this is some sort of a modification. I don't know. It doesn't look like it's cut from the original panel ribs because as you can see here it's laid on top of this rib so this rib is in between the layers so again I think this is something they came up with in order to tie the ribs together and also give you a mounting surface the uh, aileron parts were bolted on with the holes and here's a hole there's four holes that holds the torque tube and there's another one like see right here they just drilled through that there is a metal backing plate there but like I said this is an idea they had and then these ribs I have, I have no idea there's some sort of a weird metal something here you shouldn't have to do that but as you can see there's not much I mean flanges um, and that's where we're at now. Um, I did take my time getting this off because I had no idea what I'd find. Evidently, this is what I found. And so I think for the next part here, this I think is all just adhesive on because I, you can see right here, see there's a reinforcing strip. So I don't know what I'm going to find once I open this up. I mean, this is definitely fiberglass. This was metal. There's another little metal cap strip here that they use to rivet them together. It's kind of dark in here. My lighting isn't the best. But uh, this was the original. This was a fuel bay. Again, I don't know if it's original or not, but uh, those were your pickups. Pickup. Here's part of your vent. Um, there were three three hoses. I don't know what the three hoses were for, but uh, I mean there definitely was a vent and a pickup. But when I look, I don't see any... Oh, here they are. They did drill some holes in the bottom 
for fuel flow. That doesn't really seem adequate. I don't on that. Okay, they got some in the back too. All right, well, that's not too bad then. They got some holes in the back for fuel flow. But uh, this is where we're at now. Um, we're on the fence. I don't think I'm going to be able to get any factory ribs. I just, I don't know. And if I, if I did, was if I am able to get a hold of the factory, I probably just don't want to pay the, the factory price. They quote $8,000 for a rib kit, or excuse me, for a wing kit. And I don't see $8,000 worth of parts in it. Um, that's where we're at now. And this is going to be the rest of the wing. We're going to take this off. The original landing, here's the landing light, and then this was the tip. So, I'm going to try to save some of this stuff. I mean, I have up there, there's all the fairings and, and all that. So, I do have, I have wings. It's just that, I mean, I'm the seventh or eighth owner, and then with all the hanger rash that it's been just changing hands. I mean, it's just, I guess this, this all needs to be redone. But that's where it's at now. I see here's another iteration of fiberglass on the tube spar for the BD. Um, it's a big honking piece of metal for the skin. Um, I mean, it looks like a regular 4x8 sheet, which is kind of cool. But uh, with the aluminum prices these days, I mean, two of them are going to be pretty pretty spendy and then another two for the other wing but this is the wing now um, again the plans are going to be take these ribs off I don't care to save them um, and then we're going to clean up this pro seal and I guess it's some sort of a tank sealant they use seems to come off with the heat gun I mean as soon as I get it above a certain temperature it just pops right off so I'm hoping that's what happens and once once it gets heated it does I say it is kind of weird. I mean, it's still a little flexible. I don't know if this is cured properly or not, but I mean, it is still a little tacky. So I'm not sure what the heat, how, how getting it off this is gonna, gonna, uh, gonna bode. But uh, there's no corrosion on the spar. I mean, there's minor, minor scratches. Nothing that can't be burnished out. I mean, nothing that I can feel with my finger. So I'm happy that I got, hopefully got two good spars. This one seems to be okay. And that's it.